That's the head from, yeah, the new fella's tar. Right. That's like the jam and crest we used on the red card quite a lot. Can I get a bit of the brass in my as well? Second album. It's the night of the new fellas. struck me straight away when I heard Aces was the vocal, um, the style of vocal delivery and the guitar playing. The guitar playing really struck me straight away and uh, I could kind of tell what it was and I, as, as I say I kind of had my fingers crossed that I was right really and I thought well this is someone who really knows kind of uh, the sort of Johnny Thunders uh, in the right way uh, which I, I hadn't heard for a long time, years and years someone like who'd hooked into that kind of aesthetic and um, to me, it sounded like someone who'd really listened to a kind of 
um, New York punk rock guitar playing, but in the right way, really, you know. And I really understood it. And it's, it's a really, uh, Ryan's a really, really great, cool guitar player. Because he's got ability, but he's got an agenda as well. He's, Ryan's got a manifesto for a lot of things. But as a guitar player, he's, he's, he's got a manifesto, and that's uh, really unusual. Especially as it's a really cool manifesto, you know.
first heard about them um, years ago, actually, in, in about 2003, when um, a guy called Cern, who I worked with, managed a band called The Beatings, and they were part of this whole sort of East London scene around the Libertines, and The Cribs were one of those bands, so I, even though they weren't from East London, but uh, I heard about them then. Um, but the first time I saw them would have been about a year later, and um, uh, they're quite good friends with Kaisers, who I manage, and uh, they took them on tour, and I saw them kind of every night for a week or so, and um, just really got to like them. Got to got to like them as well as people, uh, you know, as well as a band. For all the reasons that the Cribs are very true to themselves and a very honest band in what what they do and what they represent, um, this venue is kind of it's it matches their whole uh, ethos perfectly because it's just a very honest, you know, it's a working man's club. It's it is to this area um, and this part and, and Leeds. You know, it's there's no, there's nothing corporate about it. There's nothing uh, in any way false about it. It is what it is. It's just a club for live music. There's more of an atmosphere, and you know, there's more like usually the people that are there are going to be um, more kind of associated with the whoever's playing. You know, whoever they've come to see, and they're going to be much more excited about it because it's a smaller venue. Because there's just more kind of energy and like. It's more exciting. In the early days, we played it a few times. It was kind of like the regular venue that we'd play, you know. Uh, yellow on this side, right? Yeah. It keeps you away from like that standard rock club thing. Like Leeds has like got a few like just, you know, it's kind of limited as to what you can do really. Like I mean, when we first started out, we'd all like pay to play sort of shows and like just like way better just to be at some of those ethical, you know. What I mean, and I think that. Um, you know, that's one thing that this place has always had is like, you know, the people that run it have, you know, uh, always had a really good attitude towards, you know, putting bands on, like treating everyone the same, like treating everyone well, you know. These nights we've been doing, it keeps things way more uh, loose and sort of, you know, it's kind of more fun just because it's not like, it's done, not that serious. And all the best gigs that I've ever been to in Leeds have gone on in here, you know. It's also like a very classically English, like a social club, yeah, like where you can play darts or snooker or, um, you know, that's why we have, we've been having like the silly party games and stuff like that, you know, that's standard fare for a social club, really.
for this next song, we'd like to welcome to the stage um, our good friend Russell from the band The Research and Jeremy from My My once more on fiddle. Good evening, sir. I also say that I'm proud of you to be home, to be holding such an impressive instrument. Toby who's playing trombone for you. What? Toby who's playing trombone for you. Yeah, I do, yeah. The, the guy who's playing trombone is he the guy who did, did the sound at our first ever gig. I love it. It's, like, it's really nice here, Nick, to bring this, man. Um, that's, what, that's the original yeah, thing that it came from, that Nick made. I guess it's going to go to a good arm, you know, like... Should we like Alice. Yeah. 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 You won't swing it. Look how nice my bear is. Just got it. What? Yeah. yeah. 
Well, it wasn't as bad as what it is. You had bashed it up once, mm. but you'd had it fixed. I remember on the way up to the studio on the first day that I used it, I bashed it on the wall a few times. To <laughs> yeah, you're going to chuck it downstairs, aren't you? I thought I'd like not chuck it downstairs. I thought I'd <laughs> 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 Do you remember this? Kicking yeah. your way out it's from a, the... That, that leads to the upstairs room and like, we needed to get up. What did we need to get up there We for? just went up, you went to show me what was upstairs and then we, we had got to kick that through. Plus, it's like I got it one time for Christmas, yeah. I didn't know what I wanted for Christmas. So like, uh, it's like yeah. I decided to just get this accordion. I really wanted to be able to play it, but I haven't put in enough time to be able to play it. But I can kind of pick my way around it. Yes. But uh, when it comes to the crunch, like stuff like this, I'm just like, uh, I, I, my shortcomings are... Um, you know, brought to the far front on the far. There's another song we could screw up. <laughs> If you want to help us out with a bit of vocals, that would be much appreciated.
Nobel. That's the stupidest thing that ever happened in the studio. Stupidest thing that ever happened in the studio, but it's like, the stupidest thing that happened in that studio is why were we in there recording the new fellas in the first place? Like, Leave them flowing. Yeah. So on there, the that older. Yeah. Yeah. Going when, back to the other ones. Right. When you, yeah, but when you see him filling up, yeah. I can all that up. Yeah, yeah, and then no. run back. That is an expert inside of the thing. What's he putting on with you? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea yet, but... Oh, was pulling with them? No, we haven't started yet, though. I am. Yes. Right. No. You're going on that bar, then I'm going on. Go on, you ready? Go on, Pat, do it. What are we, got, are we going already? Are we going? Not going. Are we going? I'm fucking right. The guy who produced the record was supposed to be here tonight. But he couldn't make it because his wife was ill. So I just want you to all um, give, res give respect for Edwin Collins. Yeah, we're going to have a big round of applause for Edwin Collins. <laughs> He's genu genuinely one of the good guys, you know. Genuinely one of the good guys. And we're all very, um, we're all very honoured to have had him involved with this band, you know. Orange Juice were a very important band to us. You know? Thank you. We put your respect into um, this song. Because a guy I used to know is returning out a show that the wrong way to be.
Estonia. What were the other one like? Japanese ladies. Netherlands. Uh, one of them is actually in the other room. She's Japan. already here. Oh, she got the other ticket, right? She's, no, well, she's already here. We're just going to give them out all together and rest band at the same time. Wait, oh, these are their addresses? Yeah. So this is where they've ordered them from. So basically, no, there's no one Estonia, in Estonia, Runcorn, the Netherlands and Japan. Well, the, Estonia's my favourite one, I think. Oh, Runcorn, obviously. <laughs> where is Estonia? That's in Eastern Europe, far Eastern Europe. It's like the Eastern Bloc. Yeah, you know, that's someone sent. I mean, that, that is touching. Is that someone sent like forty quid, like in an envelope, for put towards a charity? Yeah. Am I doing the? And they sent us some sweets, but like you know, forty quid for the that's charity. That's man, very, that's very nice. I like, oh, I put some money in towards the charity house party, and so I got two tickets. Mum was going free after the person I intended it for, but and then sold the ticket already. As all my friends who wanted to come to Cruise with had tickets, I sold it and got more than face value for it. I feel really guilty to see profit from a charity gig, so would really appreciate you putting this contribution towards the Sister Vibrosis charity. I'm slightly drunk, so sorry if this doesn't make sense. My intentions are good. You are fantastic, Alice. No, I mean, that is such an insight, though. Genuinely touched. Thank you very much, and God bless everyone over here that like um, that knows the new fellas and who like gives a shit about the new fellas and uh, understands the new fellas. It's a very strange and significant part of our lives. It's nice that you all come out to celebrate. It. Okay, I'd like to welcome to the stage for the final song of tonight. We have a. Um, a brass section, and if they would like to make themselves known. Right, so thank you everyone involved. Go Johnny, go, 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 go. Uh, Kate Nash, all our crew, all our crew, everyone who, uh, who comes here tonight is part of the charity man, because you're good people, there's no fucking doubt about that, you're good people. That's a lot. One, two, three, four. Well, I'll be big if I'm day, so I'm happy to say. Impressed. <laughs> the way the time is changing off, but it's well 
biggest worry right now is that my granddad's here and he needs to wash that mouth out with soap that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> He's going to get a bit of a bollocking. A no, a roll. <laughs> yeah, fantastic though guys. Fantastic honestly. I'm glad he liked it. I, th I think the sound is, is spot on. 
Well, I've never known a better place for sound. It was just like the album. Time soft furnishings. <laughs>